Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a day in the life of a, um, an aspiring author. Tomorrow and Friday I am working at um, like a landscaping job that I just have part time while I'm working on kind of launching the freelance business, uh, obviously because I needed money to survive. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to like lower my overall living expenses uh, so that I have more freedom to pursue the things that I want to pursue, that being freelance web development and a bit of marketing as well as writing. So today I need to get some lots lots and lots of work done. Um, I need to finish a WordPress website that I've been working on for this book cover that is technically not a real book. It's just a book cover that I kind of like designed for fun for the sake of having a website to put it on. I'm currently building my portfolio for authors, so for author websites as well as like creative person websites I guess. So I'm getting ready for the day because I've found that especially when I work freelance and when I work from home, I'm always more productive when I like take the time to get ready and put effort into getting ready. I feel like it just makes me feel more prepared for the day, you know? I also do this when I'm writing sometimes. Like sometimes when all I'm doing is having a night in and writing, I will literally do my makeup fun, like in a fun way, and then I'll like get dressed in a fun way because I don't know, it's kind of like cosplaying the person that I want to be in that moment, you know? And that's kind of fun. <laughs> So today we are going to be doing some writing this morning. We're going to start the morning off with writing because that worked really, really well yesterday. I wrote almost 3000 words. The goal for writing today is that I want to get through the midpoint. So I want to pass the midpoint. I have one more scene that is basically like the climax of the midpoint and then another scene after it that's kind of like the wrap up or the resetting of like where the characters are now in the story to go into the second half of act two. I'm so close to finishing that two scenes so probably less than 5,000 words so I want to try and get that done today. My goal is to have this draft done by mid-April based on the way we're going I think it'll be done well before then which would be amazing but I also am not going to count on that because I know all too well that sometimes life gets in the way and we don't get a chance to reach those goals but I'm I'm still doing my best for it, you know? That's the goal for writing, get past the midpoint today. I need to finish that website for this mock book launch that I've done. I need to submit my portfolio to ReadC, which is actually a platform that you use to review books, um, a lot of books by like indie authors and stuff. Um, I'm submitting myself as a web developer on that website so that I can kind of be in the marketplace for authors. That's why I really want to get this next website done just so that I have more actual author content in my web development portfolio. And then I need to start making a plan for my next path to publishing video. I have an updated path to publishing video that needs to go up, um, but I need to film it first, which means I need to plan it. Some things have shifted as far as my publishing timeline goes, as well as just some more information about publishing the book. So I want to make an updated video and we haven't had a path to publishing video in a long time because I just haven't made one in a long time. So I want to plan that today so that I can film it on the weekend. I might also do another plan for a video on the weekend for a creative writing class. That's another video that I want to film so I might plan both those videos so that I can just like wake up on Saturday morning and shoot them. That was too much. It's been a very long time since I covered up the bags under my eyes but I feel like they're getting worse these days. <laughs> but that was probably too much. So that is the plan for today. And now I need to dive into work.
I just went and switched all of the text that I've written so far in this manuscript over to Times New Roman. Um, I feel like sometimes, sometimes I'll do that just because I feel like it makes it look more like a real book and it is kind of a nice reminder that I'm, you know, writing a real book. I feel like it's kind of a fun way to look at it. So I decided to do that to motivate myself a little bit more. Now, I just finished writing. The midpoint is basically they have to find this tide rip, which if you've heard me talk about between the waves, tide rips are kind of like portals to the other realms that exist in the ocean. Um, so they had to find this specific tide rip to get to another destination. So the midpoint I don't know. Midpoints are kind of confusing for me sometimes because it's not like there's one thing that's happening. Usually it, it's like an amalgamation of other plot lines and certain characters, like certain things are happening to certain characters. Um, and it's kind of just a little bit, or actually quite a bit of a shift in the story rather than just one particular thing that happens, I guess. At least I find it hard to categorize the midpoint as one particular thing like I for me it's a couple things kind of happening all at once so I just wrote the rest of chapter 26 which is basically finishing off the midpoint to the point where they get through the tide rip but then chapter 27 is when they are through it and they're they kind of like take stock of what happened and they discuss what the next steps are and kind of like how things have changed I guess so it's almost like this next part is almost like tying off the first half of act two and setting up the second half of act two if that makes sense so i just wrote the rest of chapter 26 where they officially get through the tide rip they've all gone into the tide rip as of the end of this chapter so it was about 1600 words that i wrote and now we're ready to have the kind of like wrap up chapter almost like if this book were in parts then what i just wrote is the end of part one and this next chapter is the beginning of part two kind of actually i don't know if that's true i don't know i'm honestly gonna call it a night because i am tired i did a lot more web development than i thought i was going to today which keeps happening i did end up getting a whole bunch of like website design work done um and kind of i finished updating my portfolio for the time being. I also submitted my profile to Readsy, so we'll see if that gets approved so that I can be a web developer slash designer um, on their marketplace, which would be great. I'm happy with where I got. The manuscript's sitting at 57,587 words right now. I feel like this is a really solid spot, and I'm definitely very satisfied with what got done today. I feel like I didn't film as much for you guys, so this vlog might be a little bit shorter, um, but that's just because I was literally like so busy working that I didn't even think to pick up my camera, which is good. Days like that are good, um, unless I'm supposed to be vlogging. <laughs> but I hope that you all enjoyed this video, got some inspiration from it, um, you know, just hope it was good and that you had a good time watching it. I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm so tired. My brain has in fact stopped working. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next video.